Sir Ed Davey has seemingly brushed off his role in the post office scandal as he continues to lead the Lib Dem election campaign with numerous bizarre stunts like these. Little tap. Give it a good tap. Yes, uh, that's and what I, I know I do. everybody watching oh, the news going channel the right now is going to well. be. Summer outfits complete without a pair of sunglasses. Yeah. Cool dad. Cool dad. And also, oh, yeah, I love our hair. Right, everyone's just lapping it up, aren't they? But those affected by the shocking miscarriage of justice caused by the Horizon software scandal are still impacted to this day, with one of them accusing him of buffoonery and saying it's really, really, really important that we trust him and trust is never going to be built by swinging around on ropes or paddleboarding in Cumbria. Trust is about engaging with the people that need that engagement. Well, Davy served as Postal Affairs Minister in the coalition government between 2010 and 2012, a period in which innocent sub-postmasters were wrongly prosecuted by the post office, and he refused to meet with Alan Bates, who's been the subject of that ITV drama as well. I welcome now Seema Misra, a former sub-postmistress who was jailed while pregnant back in 2019. Seema, thank you very, very much. How's, oh, sorry, in 2010, apologies. Uh, how does it make you feel when you see Ed Davey getting a full makeover on national television and everyone just lapping this up? I know it's just a publicity, publicity stunt, isn't it? We know the elections are here, so just, just want to see, tell that we are here. But that doesn't work. Do you think he's getting an easy ride? What would you like, yeah, what would you like to ask him? Oh, well, no, definitely not. Basically, in 2010, when I was sent to the prison, my my MP, Mr. Jonathan Lord, he wrote to Mr. Ed Davey saying that this is what happened to Seema Mistra invoking. I think we'll, we should look into Horizon. And he just got a send reply back that Horizon is robust and everything. And till now date, I'm pretty sure he hasn't even acknowledged that, that he was wrong or nothing like that at all. Instead of, like, sorting the mess out, mm. they're just having... Of fun and having a publicity stunt. Yeah, non-stop publicity stunts. Can I just ask you to outline, please, to our viewers and listeners, exactly what happened to you? In 2005, I bought the West Pirate Post Office, and then 2008, I was suspended uh, because of the theft charges and false accounting. And then 2010, because I pleaded not guilty for theft charges, I was sentenced for 15 months because the jury came back with a wordy guilty. On my eldest and 10th birthday, being eight weeks pregnant, I was sent for 15 months. So you were eight weeks pregnant and you were sentenced to 15 months uh, in prison. Do, do you mind me asking, you know, what happened then? Did, were you behind bars when, uh, when, you, when you had to give birth or what was it? So I was uh, behind bar for four months. Due to good behavior, I was released early on tag, which mean I gave birth with a tag on. It's just bonkers, isn't it? And it Mr. Ed Davy knew about it because my MP wrote to him that this is what happened to me. And he ignored you. He, 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 as far as as far as you're aware, he ignored you. Yes. Right. Okay. And it's interesting because that hasn't really come up at all this election campaign, has it? Um. Sir Ed Davey no. could, could potentially be the leader of the opposition in a few weeks' time. True, and they, they, uh, they need to sort of so much mess out and all that. They know, like, they, like their innocent lives were ruined because of the scandal and everything. It's still happening. But, like, because of the uh, other election pressure or whatever, they just try to ignore it. I, 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 it's interesting because it appears to me, anyway, that... You know, the establishment media can potentially be bought off. I mean, you know, if you get on the Lib Dem battle bus, he'll take you to Cumbria and you can watch him go paddle boarding or you can go to the beach and you can play around with some sandcastles or, you know, he can say, oh, I'll come on your television show and I'll, I'll get made up like a supply teacher and put the shades on and all of this. And no one's saying to him, well, hang on a minute, can, can you account that time when you were in power and it went really badly wrong for a lot of people like yourself can you can you account for that i mean what what, what would you like to say to sir ed davy if he was here sitting next to me right now well first of all like well he, he can't ignore that he didn't knew about uh, the cases because as i mentioned my mp mr mr jonathan lord he wrote to him as well and he, and he ignored and saying it's robust until now he's just ignoring it okay they're doing some promises okay they will look into the horizon this and that but it's a time for action now. You know, we heard so many false promises. Each and every victim need to be, they need to get you in composition sorted sooner rather than later. And mm. proper accountability need to be there. Actual culprit, we need to go behind the bars. 
What kind of compensation are you after? Not, not the, well, they, they call, you can call it compensation, it's our own money, which post office nicked from us. So yeah, we, I'm still waiting for my full and final compensation. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, I wasn't quite sure. Is, is there a particular number that you're after? No, it's like, that my, that's for my accountants to still deal with it. But like, yeah. Yeah, no, fair enough. We'll wait and see. Wait and see it's what not just me, there's so many others. There are so many other waiting for the full and final compensation as well. Okay, all right, Seema, look, thank you very, very much. And um, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your story. I think most people would, would wish that, that you get the resolution that you uh, are after. That's Seema Mishra there, former sub postmistress. Well, Ed Davey did offer a response to some criticism about his campaign stunts from another post office victim over the weekend. On the postmaster, my heart goes out to Lee and all the others who were so badly affected. And I'm looking forward to giving evidence to the inquiry, mm -hmm. which I campaign for to hold people to account. But in terms of uh, the, the things we've been doing, the stunts, actually the real issue is engaging people. And they have done. And um, one of the reasons I'm so pleased to be on your programme is to talk about what Liberal Democrats are standing for. We're still standing for health and care. We put that at the centre of our manifesto. We, we're talking about the cost of living, and that's not coming up enough. People are really struggling out there and we're talking about the environment. And a statement provided to GB News tonight, a Lib Dem spokesperson said this, post office officials lied to the victims, parliament, the court, 16 post office ministers, Ed's heart goes out to all those victims bitterly failed by the system and vows to fight with them for justice. He's campaigning to change the system so that this kind of awful miscarriage of justice is never repeated. Mm, OK, coming up.